We're in Microsoft Office 365. I'm going to show you how to create a custom spam filter. Uh, just in case you want the filter to be applied to specific users and groups, but not to everyone that the default spam filter applies to, then we can certainly create a custom filter that does just that. So on the left-hand side where you see Microsoft Office Home, you'll see an icon about the middle of the page. You'll click on Admin, and that will take you to the Admin Center. Now, if you go to the bottom left hand of the page, you'll see Admin Centers and click on that and choose Exchange. When you click on Exchange, it takes you to the Exchange Admin Center. And this is where we can go ahead and make those changes. So on the left hand side, you'll see it says Protection. And at the top, it says Spam Filter. So we're going to go ahead and click on Plus to create a custom spam filter. And we'll go ahead and call this one Custom. And we'll choose the description. We'll say, hey, this is just for Jane Doe. Jane is getting a specific type of spam that other people are not. So we're going to create a custom filter just for her. And I'll show you how to apply it to her a little later on. So if we see spam that is uh, regular spam that we're not sure, 100% sure spam, we'll say goes to the junk email folder. And we'll say if it's high confidence spam, like Microsoft is really sure this is spam, let's say we don't want it in our junk folder, just go ahead and delete the message. And you also have the option to quarantine and some other options as well. If email is going to a lot of different people, it's called bulk email. So by default, a lot of, a lot of uh, spam filters see that as spam. If you hit the drop-down list, you can see that number seven is uh, what it has. And that's just an arbitrary number that Microsoft comes up with, with as their logic to what spam would be in a bulk email. You can lower that threshold or raise it to whatever you want and run some tests to see if it works the way you want it. Or you can just say, ah, don't worry about it. All bulk email is OK. Well, I would say that's probably not the case. Let's go ahead and leave it checked. The quarantine for email messages, if you choose the quarantine option instead of the delete option like we did, then you'll have 15 days for the administrator to get that back. If we want, we can always block specific email by clicking on the plus, and we can say a certain sender, somebody we never want to get an email from, and we'll just say a spammer at gmail.com. Probably not an email address like that, but let's just go ahead and click OK. And we can say a domain block list. We can say, hey, anybody from this domain, we don't want to get any email for Jane. And uh, let's just go ahead and say, if it comes from CNN.com, then we'll go ahead and block it. Then we have the allow list. We can say always accept uh, email from this person. And let's just say it's j at gmail.com. Click OK or we can allow an entire domain. We can say, let's say anybody from yahoo.com is probably okay with us, although it's not recommended, and we'll go ahead and click okay. So this is a custom uh, spam filter policy that we're creating just for Jane. If we want, we can also uh, go in and filter internationally by blocking from certain languages as well as certain countries. And I'll just give you an example of the countries. We'll click the plus sign. And let's just say, hey, I don't want to get any email uh, from, oh, let's say Austria. Double click, click OK. So if that email is coming from Austria, it's not getting through. It's going to be spam. So we have the option to increase the spam score. If certain things happen, such as there's embedded links inside images, we can say, yep, yeah, that's probably spam. If there's an IP address in the URL instead of a domain name, then it's probably spam. URL redirects to other ports. Oh, yeah, that's probably spam. So we can do all that as well. We can choose all of them or none of them, whatever it is we want. We also have the option to choose test. So if we think, well, we'd like to see if that's going to cause a problem first, then we'll choose test instead. And then you can have some test mode options, such as you can configure the test option for when a match is made uh, to test enable advanced options. You can choose to add the default X header to the test so you know that that's what it is. You can filter by that. Or you can send a specific BCC message as well. Now, here's where you apply it to specific users, because if you don't do this, then that means that only uh, that, that uh, every single user is going to be applied, and we want only Jane Doe to get this particular thing. So if we click on Select One, and we say the recipient is, and we choose from our list Jane Doe. You could also choose a group if you want. Then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, we can add a condition if we want. 
We'll go ahead to the drop down. We can say the, the uh, recipient domain is or the recipient is a member of. So let's go ahead and choose the X on that because we don't want to add any, any conditions. You could also um, add an exception if you want as well, such as the recipient is or the recipient domain is. So let's say recipient is, and let's just scroll down to Robert McMillan. Okay, so if the recipient is me, and I'm in Austria and I send an email, then it's going to get through because I am the exception. So let's go ahead and click Save. And now we've created a custom spam filter policy just for Jane. Now you can apply that to groups as well. It doesn't have to be just an individual like I just did. You could uh, instead choose a security or distribution group and that will apply to them, uh, assuming that they have uh, an email box on the system. So uh, when you are all done, then you can go ahead and start sending uh, some test messages just to see if everything is sent the way, set up the way you want it. And if you want, you can go back in just by clicking the pencil and you can edit anything that uh, may have been overzealous or not strong enough. So that's how you set up a custom spam filter policy in Office 365.